It's got a little trevally on the uh, sabiki. Hooked up to our first little kelpie. My favorite bait. Snapper. Oh. Come on, man. Yep. Johnny. Johnny, go. He is hooked up. Johnny. Welcome to Real Kiwi Fishing. This week, I've got Pierre back on board with me in the little FC. What we're going to do is carry on with that winter fishing. So I was on a solo last weekend on the sand. This time, we've decided to come out in those shallows and amongst the weed, find that weed line, or we'll ride in the weed, see what we can get up to. Plan is to get a few liveys to start with, which we're uh, picking up now. Yep. And then we're going to try for some uh, John Dory. So obviously liveies, we might get a big snapper, but going to try for a few John Dory. Might like a uh, few Kahawai, maybe even a Winter King. So yeah, today we're uh, in the shallows, just in behind one of the islands here. And we're sitting in around that sort of 10 metres might move in a little bit if uh, we don't get anything here sort of on that weed line it's running down the side of this island here but yeah hope we get into a few fish hopefully John Dory and we'll see how we go okay guys the liveys are coming on board <laughs> yeah baby I've yeah, set my uh, I've set my John Dory rig up there's a couple of different ways you can run your rig. Basically I'm just going to run my sinker straight to the hook because we're at anchor. Otherwise you can have your uh, swivel there 
trace and then your hook sinker above your uh, swivel tracing your hook and then your live you can sort of just swim around freely but um, I'm just going to run it that way can change over if um, I'm missing a few Johnnies if they turn up With my livey I just go up under the chin, out through the nose. And I'm gonna trim trim his tail. Slow him down a bit. So get rid of his propeller. And we'll drop him down and see what happens. Got no burly down as yet, I'll just get a livey down. I want to have that burly kick and get those bait fish all concentrated up close to the boat. And then the Johnnies will hopefully come in. Once the uh, yellows are all in that one spot and uh, see my livey kicking around and hopefully grab it to set up the burly and then we'll also um, get our stray line set up and try for a few snapper in the weed, a few floating baits. Okay guys, just got our um, burly in the onion sack today. Let it uh, dribble out a little bit slower. And now big um, burly sack and over the side she goes. And what we'll do, because we're um, after John Dory, I'll drop that right to the bottom. Because we'll basically have our liveys pretty close to the bottom for Johnny's. Johnny's like hanging around in that weed where they're around pretty much camouflaged. So hit the bottom, just a couple of pulls up, tie her off. And fingers crossed, some Johnny's turn up for us. Set up my uh, stray line, see if we can pick up a few snapper in the weed, some kelpies. Pierre probably wants a couple of kahawai, they might turn up for us. But yeah, a little bit of weed fishing today. We'll see how we go. Okay guys, set up my uh, stray line rig. Basically just going to run a little ball sinker, quite a small one. It's probably a one eighth, one eighth I'd say, a little bead down to a seven barrow. Start with that, it's a little bit of current here, so I'm not sure if a um, floating bait will get down there, but if I get uh, sort of snagged up, I'll um, swap over to no sinker. Once that burly kicks in, they'll probably uh, snapper might come right up and get away with no sinker. Got liveys coming on board pretty consistently, which is nice. size for a uh, big snipper. We'll probably try here for maybe an hour or two 
if we get no joy on those johnnies we'll do a bit of a shift because it sort of really is more about the johnnies today well that winter fishing hopefully going to get a few kelpies might be a good size trevally I mean that side. Oh, watch your livey. Watch the burly. Burly, please now. Yep. Yeah, Trevally. Pierre's got a little Trevally on the uh, Sabiki. <laughs> Great time of year for Trevally. So we might even luck a few bigger Trevally. Ooh, good fun. Yeah, we might like a few uh, nice trevally, maybe, once that barely really kicks in. Well, I got me dinner. Sorry. Hooked up to our fresh little kelpie. Might be just about takeable, maybe, for us, hopefully. Doesn't feel that big. Oh, it's not a bad fish. Oh, that's all right. There's nothing wrong with it. And they should take those swimming live in there. There you go. Our first kelpie. Plane starting to kick in. Got our liveies. Got our first kelpie. Just need our John Dory to turn up. I got another trevally. Bear's hooked up to another trev on the Sabiki. Oh! They are pretty hard to land on those little Sabikis, boy. Yeah. Starting on my leg. My favourite bait. Yellow tail head split down the middle. Caught a couple of little smaller uh, kelpies. So the snapper are turning up. It's always good to start with the pulley, but now that they're here, we'll try one of these harder baits. Hooked up. Some, not, nothing too big. Okay. Another little kelpie. Oh, cool. It's probably takeable. Yep. So far, our Johnnies haven't turned up for us. What we might do is just pick up a few kelpies. And then we might have to go hunting. But yeah, very productive when you're sitting on those weed lines in that weed. Big burly pumping. Floating baits, little ball sinkers. They should turn up for you. Get a uh, sabiki going, pick up some liveies. Might like a couple of johnnies and maybe some big snaps on those harder baits. Oops. Bear's hooked up. No, in the weed. Straight in the weed. <laughs> that was in a fat fish. Oh, Another nice little kelpie. Oh, here you go. It's all right. Man, it went straight over. The line just went straight tight. And see his dark colours there. Another nice little kelpie. Not big fish, but um, it's not a bad fish for the bin. Get me a, get me a snipper. Probably about five minutes, basically from the ramp from when we launched, so haven't um, had to use too much fuel. Got a burly. 
bag of bait now we've got liveys not too bad so far but um like i was saying don't really need those johnnies to turn up well, we need to shift off and try and find them there's a lot of bait fish here so don't really want to shift because where there's bait fish there should be those predatory fish he is hooked up he's put away the old sabiki time to catch some fish all that time waiting for a nice big fat penny but not on a little fella that tide's pretty much getting close to that low tide oh yep something's having a go at Piers Livey let's hope it's Johnny Johnny time is Livey gone Piers running a different trace here. His livey's sort of swimming free. He's got a three-way swivel. But uh, yeah, could be a uh, Johnny turning up for us. He is hooked up on his livey. Is it a Johnny? Is it a Johnny, Pierre? I think so. Oh, I think oh so. please. Oh, it's not a bad snapper. Oh. Come on, man. Never mind. At least I got them my first snapper. It's another one on your other rod. Bit of a bummer. Well, wow. This is my battery. It hey, works. This one. Thought it was a Johnny. Assuming, yeah, I thought it was a Johnny. Bit of a bummer. Piers' rod's gonna go. At least I got the snapper. Oh well, try again. Pierre's hooked up again. Not that big, it's just probably good enough for the pen. Another kelpie. Well, the kelp snapper are definitely here, guys. Just not the John Dory. I'm sure there will be some. Pierre had another one playing with his livey before, we weren't too sure whether that was a uh, John Dory or another snapper. But we might have to shift guys, might pick up a couple more snapper while they're here and then go do a shift, try and find some Johnnies. Pierre's hooked up again. Still in the same spot, guys. Just trying to pick up a few more kelpies. And then we'll probably uh, get a couple more liveys and then do our shift. Try and find those. Those Johnnies. Those elusive Johnnies. A little bit better snapper. Then here. Yep. Come here, fishy, fishy. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. Not complaining about that. Sweet, cool. Oh, see the old kelpies. Yep. That's what nice. we're here for. Here for a few kelpies. Those winter kelpies, which have worked well for us. Pretty close to the uh, shoreline there. You can see the rocks now. Pretty much low tide, I'd say. But yeah, we'll probably pick up a couple more, and then we might go and try and hunt down some some johnnies. They're just not here. I thought they'd be here with all those yellowtail that we were catching. So they do sort of follow those school schools around. But um, yeah, we'll try for a couple more kelpies, and then we might move off. Okay guys, we've done a little bit of a shift, tucked in a new burley, we're at a new spot, gave up on that spot, there was just no johnnies, we caught our kelpies, we do catch kelpies here, Piers hooked up, it's a little snap there, a little kelpie, but I have caught a couple of John Dory from here before. Yeah, they're not bad, 
they're not bad anyway. So, um, fingers crossed. I actually had a big uh, kingfish turn up here a couple of seasons ago. I threw a um, kawai back in, and this big king came up and just big white water. I came back a couple of times to try for a kingy here and didn't catch one, but I've caught a couple of johnnies. So we will see how we go at this spot. Hopefully, it's not just snapper. But our um, our kelpie uh, has definitely worked for us. Our kelpies. Yep. I can see it. Oh, gone! It just spit it. I saw the Johnny. <sighs> I saw it. Pierre just had a Johnny on, and as he was bringing it up, it spat it out. I saw it. I saw the Johnny. It was a good one. It's a back. I'm not sure. Hopefully. Don't like those recurves, eh? When drop for Johnny's, they so swallow it, so the whole thing. Johnny, Johnny, go. Piers hooked up. Johnny, Johnny, go. Oh, what? Gone. Johnny, 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 gone. Jeez, what's going on? Get rid of that recurve hook, man. No. Yep. I'll take it off from the nose and put it on the back. Well, pretty much going to call it a day, guys. It's been a pretty cool day. Definitely got on to the kelpies. So it uh, just shows you bait and burly in the shallows along that kelp line or we'll right in on the kelp will uh, get you a good feed. Had a couple of Johnnies turn up, uh, which we sort of missed, but uh, what we'll do is next time we'll try and get out there and actually target those johnnies, try and get onto them. Actually couldn't get away from the snapper, they were actually taking our liveies as well. So it was pretty hard to um, get onto them. But we didn't do too badly, ended up with maybe about 10, five, five each, five kelpies each. And they're all sort of basically 35, 36, up to about that 45 to 47. So yeah, not too bad. So yeah, just just remember, get into that weed line and uh, pump a burly and you should get onto a few fish for a feed. So if you enjoyed this little adventure, till next time, tight lines. <laughs>